I had never been out of the state of Kansas until after I was married. And after I was married, I made a quick change because I went from coast to coast. You know, Paul entered the service on April the 14th and he was shipped to Camp Roberts, California. And I rode out with the friends from Wichita in a car and to uh, Los Angeles. And from Los Angeles, I took a bus to Camp Roberts. And when I got to Camp Roberts, there was a, my name came over the loudspeaker that I was wanted at the desk. So I went to the desk and it was my husband and he said, you get on another bus and you come over to Paso Robles. That's where I'm at, staying at. So I was scared and there was another soldier that was standing there and he heard me say that I was going to Paso Robles and he said, are you going over there to see someone? And I said, yes, my husband's over there. And he said, come on, I'll take you because I'm going over there too because that's where my wife is. But I was never so scared and so tickled to see Paul standing there when I got off the bus at Paso Robles. My I was going to go to Brooklyn and I was going on the train. I got on at Hutchinson and as I got on on Hutchinson, I spotted my brother Paul and he and I rode to Chicago together, but his train had to switch and he went another direction and I went the other to go to Brooklyn. We, but we did have a long, nice ride together home from Brooklyn one time I came home on the train mm -hmm. and you know I rode in the ladies restroom from Brooklyn to um, almost um, someplace in, to Kansas City in the restroom because there was no room they had it was then it was a bunch of army wives in the restroom we were just sitting there and <laughs> it had lounges and we just sat there the train was full but they'd put us in there. I thought that was quite unusual.